Next is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 6th Canto, 1st Chapter, Text Number 50, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on June 16th, 1976, in Detroit, Michigan. Above the five senses of perception, the five working senses and the five objects of the senses is the mind, which is the sixteenth element. Above the mind is the seventeenth element, the soul, the living being himself, who, in cooperation with the other sixteen, enjoys the material world alone. The living being enjoys three kinds of situations, namely happy, distressful, and mixed. This is the analytical study of our material position. Very clear analysis. We contribute with five working senses. Vais, Bak, Pani, Pa, Payu, Udara, Upasa. Vais, arms, legs, anus, and genital. Uh, there are twenty-four, the total material constitute constituent parts and mm, twenty-five, sometimes twenty-six, they say. These seventeen and the five elements, gross, and three subtle elements. In this way, are together twenty-five, including the soul. The soul is pure spirit and other twenty-four elements, they are different uh, varieties of material covering. In this way we are entangled and we are desiring and nature is giving us facility to enjoy our desires. This is material world. So unless we are free from all kinds of desires, we shall be entangled with these elements. Uh, that was bhakti, bhakti marga, devotional service, uh, means no more material desire. Uh, it is difficult because we are associated with the material desire, life after life, from time immemorial. Uh, Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, therefore, anadi parama phale, pari bhavar nava jale, tari bare na dekhi upa. Anadikaram, time memorial, I am fallen in this ocean of fruitive activities and I have no uh, rescue from this ocean. Turivare Nadeki Upaya. This is our position. Very, very difficult to come out of these elements. But uh, if we practice, that is possible. Abhyasa yoga yukte na cheto sanarnaga amina. Cheto sanarnaga This is practice. Mind is going somewhere. Uh, when we sit down, the mind is manufacturing so many ideas. Uh, all of a sudden, mind is attracted by something which has no connection with my present position. Still, mind 
is dragging me. Uh, therefore, Arjun said, when he was advised by Krishna that you concentrate your mind, that is the yoga practice, yoga indriya samjava. So Arjun said, Krishna, it is not possible. Chanchalahi mana krishna pramasi bhagavad griham tasyaham nigraham manni vāyuriyu sudhuskaram. It is not possible to uh, But if we concentrate our mind on Krishna, then it is possible. Adharami Krishna. So we mana krishna padharami kayo if we engage our senses only on Krishna, uh, all is fixed up in Krishna, uh, then it is possible. Uh, to engage the mind means, as it is said here, that Panchabhi, the mind, means controlling all the senses. So if you control the mind, then all the other senses will be controlled. So therefore it is advised that you engage your mind in Krishna. Bhachansi Vaikuntu Gunanu Vandane and Bhak quantify the voice and voice, arms, legs, and as and genitals. So voice should be engaged in vibrating uh, Krishna activities. Uh, you read Bhagavad Gita, you read Samad Bhagavatam and talk about Krishna. Then voice is engaged. Bhachansi Vaikuntha Gunanu Varnati or as engaging your voice in chanting or speaking about Krishna, the mind is engaged automatically. Then arms, the hands, it engaged in cleansing the train pool. Sri Vigraha Arana Nityanana Sindhara Tanavan Dhiramajanadu this is advice. This is the business of Guru to engage. How the arms can be engaged? You can engage your arms for decorating the deity, or saying the clothing, dress, garland. In this way, you can engage your arms. Uh, voice in speaking about Krishna, eyes to see Krishna nicely decorated, come to the temple. For coming to the temple, your legs will be used. And after coming to the temple, your hands will be used, your eyes will be used, your ear will be used, your tongue will be used, chant Hare Krishna, take prasadam. In this way, if we engage all our senses in Krishna consciousness, then we are victorious. Otherwise it is not possible. Samayi mana krishna padāra vindraya vācāṁsi vaikuntu gunānu vandhani. We have got our senses. Senses cannot be stopped to working. That is not possible. The Mahābhādi philosophers, they say, they stop the nidvāṁ. Buddha philosophers, they stop sense activity. That is not possible. That is impossible. <coughs> then how we can control the senses? You can control the senses by engaging all of them in Krishna's service. Then you can control. Other ways. The flower business is artificially. Uh, I shall not see anything. The how it is possible? You see in the mind. Suppose you close your eyes. But there are so many impressions, they will come with it. 
if you could close your eyes. The so-called meditation, when she has closed his eyes, when he's thinking of his beloved or his business or something like that, something like that. Uh, so it is not possible. It is, first of all, you have to fix up your mind in Krishna. Uh, all I think of Krishna. Uh, that is advised by Krishna. Manvana bhavavad bhakta madhyali maamnavaskuru. These four principles, guarantees, Krishna said, maami voice siya samusaya. If you simply execute, these four things, then Krishna guarantees, asamsaya, without any doubt, you are coming back to me, back to home, back to God. Uh, it's so nice. Uh, so, mind engaged in Krishna. All I think of Krishna. Uh, we are seeing Krishna here, uh, so nicely dressed, decorated. And immediately there is impression with the mind. And you can think the whole day. And Krishna says, he is first class yogi. Who? Yogi nāma pi sarvesāṁ madhugata adhrāpana sadhyāvāna bharati yoma samīrutyakam. He is first class yogi. Uh, there are different types of yogi. Uh, Krishna says, yoginam api sarvesam. Sarvesam means all different kinds of yogis. There are many. So, but one yogi, bhakta yogi, or dhyana yogi, who is always thinking of me within the mind, he is first class. He is first class. That we have to practice. We have got our senses and the sense we are covered by the network of the senses, uh, the knowledge gathering senses, the working senses, the sense objects, everything is explained here. Panchavi Kuruti Satan, Panchavi Rata Panchavi, Ekasu Sarasena Trin Sayam Saptu Dasasmate. So this is practice. This is called bhakti yoga practice. Uh, engage your senses, all senses, working senses and perceiving senses, everything in Krishna, and that will make you perfect. So uh, the mind, as it is said here, similarly Krishna personally says that Samayi yogi nāma pi sarvesāṁ, samayi mana krishna, mind, engage, always mind, do something for krishna, uh, then the mind automatically will be in this, uh, something. Uh, just like a nationalist, a family man, he is doing always something for the welfare of the family, uh, or for the welfare of the society as a big, big, nationalist leaders, why they become big leaders, why they are worship? Because uh, they are thinking always of the nation, of the community, uh, they are adore, that is God. But a Vaishna is not only thinking of the community or society or family, uh, he is thinking of all living entities, there is Krishna. Lokana, Hitabharna, all planets, there is Vaishnava. Nana, Sastra, Vichara, Naipani, Puno, Saddharma, Sastra, Puto, Lokana, Hitakari, No, Trivuvane, Manno, Sadanyakara. This is Vaishnava business. Uh, they are not thinking for a particular, that includes uh, Krishna includes everything. So if you think of Krishna, then automatically you will think of everything. Uh, the same process. Water in the root, uh, 
why you are preaching why what was the necessary necessity to come in the western country no krishna wants chaitanya mahaprabhu wants that for devotee goes from town to town village to village prithvi ka chela to nagara nigra ha and this is my stuff are he is thinking for everyone because it is a fact without krishna consciousness everyone is suffering this is fact uh, so therefore preaching is so important to have it ji bijago ji bijago gorachan this is gorachan chaitanya mahapurush mission to have it and everyone uh, from this material and jam that is preaching actually there is some bhakta bhakta pradiyate we are getting this uh, element according to the circumstances according to the body the same engagement but quality a dog has got body i have got body the body is made of the same ingredients but according to the body our quality of the body the thinking feeling winning and activity that different because mind mind sphere of activities thinking feeling and willing uh, psychology so according to the body uh, just like a child his thinking feeling willing is different from the child's father why because he has got a body child and the father has got a different body and people cannot understand the change child is the father of man so the same child uh, he has become now father but he is not talking nonsense now because the body has changed uh, the child is talking so many nonsense saying people laugh and yeah but if the father talks nonsense then he will call he will arrest uh, so because the body has changed uh, so in this way body is being changed uh, the child is becoming father the body has changed still then you cannot understand how uh, the change of body transformation of the body Does not make any transformation of the order of the world. They are not being the father. He is the man who is born. He is there, but according to the body, he is behaving different. When he is in the cat's body, he is behaving differently. When he is in the dog's body, he is behaving different. When he is human body, he is behaving differently. When he is child body, this is all due to the body. So therefore, when we come to the uh, full-fledged human form of life, developed consciousness, we must utilize it as it is advised by Krishna Himself. Malvana bhavavadu bhakta vajya jima gravasi. Always think of me, uh, Malvana, and, and who can think of Krishna unless he is devotee? Manvana Bhavamalu, uh, who is not devotee, he will think of something else. Uh, why he think of Krishna? Uh, therefore, to stick to this principle, to apply the mind always in Krishna, that means he is devotee. This is devotee. Devotee means not with four hands or four legs. No. the hands legs are the same but his mode of thinking different that's all that is devotee uh, devotee does not depend on the country color or religion or circumstances the devotee means the mind anyone who is always thinking of krishna he is devotee that is the first qualification of devotee manmana bhagavad bhakta
Therefore, we have to practice it. Abhyas uh, yoga, uh, this is called abhyas. Mind is going out of my control. I want to think of Krishna, but mind is thinking something else. Uh, this is called yoga practice. So we have to uh, catch again mind. Why you are going there? Come here, think of Krishna. Then that is correct. That is called yoga. You cannot allow the mind. And when you can control the mind, generally we are controlled by the mind. That is the position of our conditioned life. Baddhaji and Muktaji, liberated soul and conditioned soul. What is the difference? Conditioned soul means who is becoming conditioned by the mind or controlled by the mind. He is conditioned soul. A liberated soul means who is not conditioned by the mind. Uh, mind says, oh, why not smoke one cigarette? And when will you be able to no cigarette? And then you control the mind. Uh, mind will say always, for some sense gratification. But when you control the mind, then you are liberated person. Therefore, the sami, sami means control or gosha. Uh, sami does not mean you simply stamp over your name, sami. No, sami means the controller of the mind. Uh, he is not controlled by the mind. He controls the mind. Then his son. Go Sami. Go means senses, and Sami means master. When you are able to control your senses, then you are Go Sami or Sami, the same Otherwise, Go Das. Das means servant. Everyone in this material world, he is Go Das. Go Das means servant of the mind, servant of the senses. Everyone. Servant of the senses. He may be very big man, but he is servant of the senses. So the spiritual process, spiritual advancement means that at the present moment we are all servants of the senses or of the mind. Mind is the master of the senses, central point. Therefore, if you can control the mind, then you can control the senses. So about, about the senses, the tongue is the most formidable, very difficult to control. So Bhakti Thakur said, Tāra-madhe jīvhāvati lobhamāya sudurvati tāre jetā kothinar samsāra. Of all the senses, the tongue is the strongest enemy, uh, always proposing, eat this, eat this, eat this, eat this, eat this. Just uh, see, but tongue only, one person eats little bit of beef only, not much. No, I have seen uh, a piece of beef. But for the satisfaction of the senses, Thousands of animals and animals are being killed. You see, they cannot control this. A bit of bee, they cannot control. If they decide that we are we are privating, no meat it. So this is controlling the sense, because unless you bring the senses under control, there is no question of spiritual advancement. The sense, the tongue, the belly, the straight line, and then the genital. If you can control the tongue, then you can control your belly, and then you can control your genital. And that is required. Unless you can control the genital, there is no question of liberation from this material body. This is the principle. Uh, therefore, uh, 
by practicing bhakti yoga uh, gradually immediately it is not possible but gradually by sticking to the regulative principles and chanting hare krishna we shall be able to control the senses and the first sense is the touch sevanmukhe hi jiv bhado samayva suratada atasya krishna namadi navabhi draiham indriyai the senses are so strong they will not allow me to become krishna conscious they will not allow me atasya krishna namadi krishna to krishna conscious man consciousness means to understand krishna his name his form his pastimes his paraphernalia so many things krishna is the supreme lord how much we have to learn about him uh, this the man uh, so all these things cannot be understood by this blunt senses and gaze in material sense and that that is not possible uh, therefore you have to control the senses atasya krishna namadi navave grayam indriyai avan indriya we are not uh, habituated to use this indriya for material sense and job therefore these indriyas senses is not fit for understanding krishna it has to be purified uh, the sense you cannot stop the activities of the sense but you have to purify so that is recommended that purification of the senses begins from the tongue that for we have recommended that don't eat meat don't test intoxication don't uh, well, and in illicit sex and uh, from the tongue it goes to sex is not private eh? but illicit sex that, that is control that is control if one is allowed to have unlimited unrestricted sex then he is doomed better restrict your sex in one uh, that means gradually it will be controlled so we have to follow this if we are actually serious about krishna consciousness and going back to home back to god and make our life successful in this very life then very uh, successful means mukti to be uh, not entangled again with this material body takta deha punarjanma naiti mame that is it the after giving of this body this body means the combination of the so many 24 elements so long we will be entangled within this network of 24 elements it is called conditioned life uh, and mukti liberates no more entangled mukti hitya anatha rupam we are now entangled in this 24 elements and mukti means we are not entangled mukti hitya unnatharo because we are entangled we are thinking otherwise i am american i am indian i am this i am that i am that i have got so many duties and these things but when one understand that these so called duties are entanglement of these uh, 24 <coughs> elements of matter uh, i do not belong this i go alone I have a look. This understanding is called Brahmaguta, Prasanna. At least theoretically, if we understand, then our duty changes. Prasanna, uh, fixed up. But whatever I am doing now, I am doing with this material for the benefit of this material, not for my personal benefit. I am not this twenty-four elements. This is called Mukti. Uh, so we have to practice. We are accustomed. to this material entanglement and this practice is there and then gradually we shall be free from this sarvapadi vinirmuktam 
Tatparate not nirmala. That is purification. When we become free from this designation. Then Rishikena, Rishikesha, Sevanam, Bhakti. And when you are free from this, therefore Bhakti actually begins after liberation. Bhakti is not Nidvitta Tarasai Rupa Giyamana. Nidvitta, one who has seized Trishna. Trishna means aspiration. We have got so many aspirations. So this transcendental life or chanting of Hare Krishna is meant for the liberated person. Nidvitta Tarasai Rupa Giyamana. Babau Sadhi Chotra Mano Bhirama. This chanting is the medicine for our condition stage. Nidvitta Tarsai Rupagiya Mala Babau Sadhi Chotra Mano Bhirama. Ka Uttama Sloka Gunanu Bada Virajyati Pumana Bina Pasugna. Pasugna, animal killer. Pasugna in two meanings. One is killing himself, he is also Pasugna, and one is killing animals, he is also Pasugna. Therefore, meat-eating is prohibited, that if you remain a killer of animals, then you cannot be purified. There is a sense in no meat-eating. So in this way, you cannot stop the activities of the senses. That is not possible, because I am living being. If the sense activities are stopped, then what is my life? I am finished. Uh, that can't. This is impossible. The Buddha philosophy is stop, nidvam, stop the activities of the sense. That is not possible. Stop means you stop material activities. Uh, uh, a boy is, when he is child, he is simply doing all nonsense and creating some disturbance. But the same boy, when he engages in reading and writing, going to school, he is good boy. Similarly, you cannot stop the activities of your senses, but when you engage your senses in the activities of Krishna, that is perfection of life. Thank you very much.